I am Teresa Garcia, and today I'm going to be reviewing Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly. Now, Deep Blue is a book that I originally picked up when I went to go to one of my kids' um, th those book fairs that the schools have. I got this there at Weed Elementary. And Deep Blue is the first book in the Waterfire Saga. Now, if you like mermaid fiction or ocean fiction, this is a good one. If you like uh, books for the in-between crowd, this is another good one. On the back is this great poem that also features in the book itself. This is the prophecy. Daughter of Marrow, find the five, brave enough to keep hope alive. One whose heart will hold the light, one possessed of the prophet's sight. One who does not yet believe, thus has no choice but to deceive. One with spirit sure and strong, one who sings all creatures' songs. Together find the talismans belonging to the six who ruled, hidden under treacherous waters after light and darkness dueled. Now, this is not an Atlantis book. There are very distinct countries within this, and our heroine is named Serafina, who is the princess of one of our countries. And like many princesses, she is rather bored with this. This is technically a coming of age because she has to go through the initiation process of growing up. She has to deal with an attack on her kingdom, the loss of a mother, becoming the ruler herself, far too young for it still. She makes friends and she meets enemies. She gets tricked a few times. And all in all, this book I found was a very good book for the age group that normally reads the coming of age stories. I am looking forward to finding the other books in this series because I would like to find out what comes to Serafina and her friends and whether or not Undalina, Miromara, Kin, Atlantica, Metali can work together and defeat the evil that is trying to take over. So do pick up this book. Now you will notice that uh, I am not showing my face this time. I'm experimenting with face rig. I've had this for a while and just never really gotten a chance to mess with it a whole lot. So meanwhile, while I'm trying to work on getting the lighting better in my room and the living room where the art takes place and where my writing takes place, I will be poking around with this. So you will probably see a different avatar every now and then. Eventually, I would like to make my own custom avatar, but uh, many other projects in line first, because otherwise I'm going to snow myself under again, and I'm pretty bad at that. So thank you very much for joining me to take a peek at my bookshelf. Please join me next time, and don't mind the cats going and doing strange things in the background because, well, that's cats.